Swiss volcano researcher Peter Diethelm on a special mission. His goal is to collect ashes from the Eyjafjallajökull Jukt volcano on the Icelandic south coast. The samples will later be analyzed at the Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich. Since the region around the volcano was declared off-limits, Diethelm had to get special permission to go near the volcano. He's accompanied by two experienced local guides. For safety reasons, the team travels with two cars, in case one breaks down. Since the wind blows the ash clouds to the southeast, the experts are approaching the 1,600-meter-high crater from the west. For a better hold on the ground, the car's tires have to be let down. And then the big moment arrives. Yes! Oh my gosh! This is so much better than what I'd imagined. Unbeatable! Yes! Let's go! Look, Dada! Yes! What a sight! Diethelm makes his way up the glacier, which is covered in a layer of ash several centimeters thick. This big hole was melted into the glacier by a huge volcanic bomb. It must have been several hundred degrees hot. This chunk must be around 70 by 120 centimeters in size and weighs four tons. This shows that where we are is not safe. Depending on the direction of the wind, stones of all sizes, even very big ones, could come flying towards us. At the moment, though, the wind is blowing in the opposite direction. The volcano expert manages to come within 300 meters of the crater. The erupting parts can vary from the size of a van to tiny particles of ash, only a thousandth of a millimeter big. Oh look, there's a red bit. If a part glows red, even in daylight, it's a very huge block, very, very hot. Soon we have to go. The eruptions become stronger and stronger, launching chunks of lava hundreds of meters high. The guides say it's time to go. The weather is closing in. Quickly, Peter collects some samples of ash. Two hours later, the volcano researchers are driving to Vicky Myrdal, the southernmost spot of Iceland. The region is in the shade of the volcanic ash cloud. Some years ago, this was considered one of the world's nicest beaches. Now Peter collects samples from the thick layer of ash. That's enough. And then it's time to head back to Zurich, where the researchers at the Institute of Technology will try to unravel some of the Eyjafjallajökull secrets.